and welcome to our very first 1-6 scale uh, video review. Uh, this is for Hot Toys HAS002, a little bit differently. Loads of other people uh, tend to start with the Star Wars and Marvel stuff. But this is really unique, something completely different. And we're just going to get it out of the box here and have a little look. <clears throat> As you can see, uh, this is the box art. Uh, it's basically the Alien vs Predator, Alien Girl, uh, part of their Hot Angels series. They've only done two so far. They've done the Alien Girl. They've also done a Predator Girl as well. Uh, I think it was called Mako. It was a long. It was a while ago. Uh, let's just uh, have a little look at the box art here. Um. Yeah, nice cartoony, manga-y anime design along the front here. Um, then we've got the nice, the nice pink design here of uh, on the writing. Have a quick look on the back. Uh, but yeah, I'm really loving this. This, but I know a lot of people get rid of their boxes. Uh, but this is a, a kind of box that you'd want to display the figure in in front of or something uh, but yeah it's really nicely designed uh, really say a bit interesting a bit different um, it's a slip cover like a lot of them are so this comes up obviously I've taken the figure out already and, and there we have it's a sort of a purpley design to the box the head there of uh, alien girl and that's it so let's get the figure and have a look and here is she out of the packaging um, first look is that she's absolutely very unique very different uh, hot toys gets criticized quite a lot for not for um, for not doing uh, different or stuff out of the box all they keep producing is Star Wars and Marvel or well, this isn't and it's it's completely something different because it doesn't represent anything apart from aliens uh, it's never been in any of the tea of any of the movies any of the comics or anything like that it's just uh, something really really different uh, if we come along the back here I mean the detailing of this is is absolutely awesome we don't get a lot with it obviously you get the blaster or the um, space jockey sort of thing if we take a little closer look at her then uh, you can see on the gun here that it's designed like the space jockey from the first aliens movie and um, obviously prometheus uh, but this is her gun these these sections can come off if i just take it out of her hand Ooh. take it out of her hand or take her hand off with it I found it's it's a lot better uh, these bits can come off you can either display it with or without these pieces but they look really good I've also noticed uh, you get um, two pairs of hands that are already on her and then you get this um, the gun the gun holster one here uh, these are the other two hands that you get Uh, just here They're sort of like grabbing hands and you also get two faces so you get the face that's already on there this is the more human face uh, they are magnetic and the manga, manga uh, the sort of a manga anime face is what's on it at the moment but this is the uh, obviously the gun again um, it's easier to put the uh, to put the hand on there is some weight to this as well um so you want to just take that into consideration let's have a look at her with a hand let's put this one back on up uh, click in like that and as you can see i mean it is absolutely wonderfully sculpted um, I know they also get criticised for not having too much of a butt, but as you can see with this one, you get 
a very nice butt. Uh, right down to her shoes, which have the uh, high heel sort of alien tentacle thing coming out here like she has on her back. They're very detailed. Also the head, as you can see there, very nicely uh, detailed as well. A uh, nice picture of the skull here. Um, if we can uh, zoom up on that if I can. There we go. Uh, you can see it with the light coming through. Uh, articulation. Yep. Excellent. You can have a look in either way. Her arms bend quite up so you can get her in sort of a... She doesn't have a double jointed arm. It only goes to about there. But the joint is covered with uh, this sort of rubber material so as you can see here so I wouldn't want to poke that around too much uh, wrists yeah they all turn and swivel and in any position I'll get to the head in just a minute um, yeah leg wise that's as far stretched as she can go um, she does have the double joint on the knee but once again it's covered by this rubber and you wouldn't want to overstretch it uh, the feet obviously they come out and you can pose them but there is that so with the head if I uh, just go down here a minute so in order to change the head you pull this whole front section out and there's the face so there's the sort of anime manga sort of face and there's the more human one and uh, as you can see on this the magnet has come out it's actually attached to that but it does stay still in there as well um, so there's the bottom of the jaw it's, it's quite difficult to get in and out um, because you have to get these these tubes in here there is um, hang on let's take the face off and I'm going to show you properly um, as you can see there's a little hole here and that is where that goes goes into into that so let's uh, let's actually go back for the anime face and uh, I'll just show you how fiddly this is because it is quite fiddly. Don't worry about the head. Once the uh, the bottom jaw is on, yeah, these these tubulars as well keep going up, keep going up here. So you sort of have to uh, spread it slightly at the sides just to get it up. But once it's up there, uh, these bits here go into the head like so <laughs> once it goes up in there like this and it's just trying to get these tubes in that goes that one and as you can see this one's come out so So again it needs pushing uh, actually can we just take the head off and then we'll be able to uh, <coughs> do it a little bit better so make sure the head is sitting on there and it is very tricky but once it once it goes up it's fine as you can see uh, and it's just sort of maneuvering these so they're in place uh, much like that so there it is uh, let's uh, stick it back on that like that let's put it down for a second uh, we'll talk about the tail in just a moment, but let's have a look at the base. 
so we get this diorama base it's really nice it has the uh, alien queen head there um i know a lot of people don't like these uh sort of displays because it makes it very hard for you to display them on um that can be the case but this this is uh a quite an easy one to display here you've got some uh some spikes here her tail makes up the round round here uh, you've also got some, I don't know what these are, these could be other tentacles or alien heads, but they're, but it is the queen's head, it's got a really nice sort of green splattering over it, there is some claw marks here, uh, obviously underneath as well, so it's it's really nice, it suits, it suits the, the figure very well, um, just going to Pop the head back on. Uh, now you have this tail, uh, which is uh, poseable, but only to a certain point. So you can't get it up like that. And uh, like I said, you can bend it any way you want. It is sort of down heavy. I mean, you can get it up, but it sort of stops the bendiness of it. Sort of, sort of stops here. So you can't. You can't sort of bend it slightly. It's, it gets very heavy. Um, but the best way of displaying her, I have found. Now I'm going to... Um, she's very top heavy as well. Meaning she's very hard to just stand. Because of her tail. Uh, she, she can be quite hard to stand. So I'm going to... Uh, Leave it for a minute and come back to her. And there she is on the uh, on the stand here. Um, as you can see, I've wrapped the tail sort of around the stand, and the stand itself has to sit quite high uh, in order for her to get this sort of pose. Where I've had to put one leg on the uh, queen's head there, and the other one straight. Uh, but she does sit on there very well, very stable. Um, let's do size comparison. So we've got the Hulk 1-6 scale. Um, so I'm going to come back a little bit. Um, so on the base, she comes up to about the shoulder of the Hulk. Uh, on the on, If she wasn't on the base, she'd probably come up to about here. On, let's take the Hulk away and get uh, Age of Ultron 4. And yeah, whoop, here we go. here's 4. So you can sort of get the sort of head height there. Four, four. Uh, if I bring it a little closer. Uh, so they're both on the bases. The base is slightly bigger uh, than on four. Um, but she is head height. If she wasn't on this base, she would actually be smaller than four. Um, if she was on a similar base to him. Uh, I think she would be a little bit shorter. Um, but that's it. Uh, obviously Hot Toys have got a lot of criticism because they make a lot of Marvel and a lot of Star Wars characters. Uh, a lot of things I see online is people saying they don't do anything unique, they don't do anything different. This is about as different or as unique piece that you'll ever get from Hot Toys. And um, I think if you like uniqueness, or you're into your female um, hot toy characters, it's a must. I also think that if you're an alien collector and you collect the alien hot toys, it is also a must because it sits in really well with uh, other alien characters. Though she was never part of the film, it just it just feels right and it and it sits right. Um, but uh, yeah, that is it really. Considering Hot Toys gets a lot of criticism for not doing things differently. This is very, very different. Uh, I've also noticed as well that it's more popular in China than it is here in the UK. Um, I just think that's because of the culture and stuff. But I, I do believe this is one of the most unique pieces that you can probably pick up at the moment. Um, and I love it and um, my wife loves it it's her actual figure not mine and uh yeah 
but yeah hopefully this won't be our last hot toys or one six scale video so why don't you click to subscribe and we'll see you at the next video